Hello everyone, my name is Liam Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 13th or 14th day in the 31 days of Halloween that we are currently doing on the channel. Today we are playing Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. This one is in a deep sleep, I think. Um, and in the aftermath of the train crash, you now find yourself stranded in the depths with a new goal in your sights. I have been looking forward to playing this chapter because this is like one of the coolest chapters so far. Um, what? I'm just gonna let this play out. Okay, guys, I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. Catnap! Please help us go to sleep, Catnap! We need it, Catnap! Please help us! Sleep! 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 <laughs> Uh, uh, honestly, it reminded me of the Russian Everyone sleep experiment. Everyone knows Huggy Wuggy and Poppy Playtime, but are your children safe from Playtime Co.'s latest toy? What you've seen here is Playtime Co.'s own Smiling Critters, a limited series cartoon meant to celebrate the release of the toys sharing its name. Yet both now face the fire sparked by the inclusion of one key member. This is Catnap. And like the others of his line, you just pull his little tail and... Seems innocent enough. However, parents across the country report their children experiencing strange and often violent nightmares. And beside them, their little, grinning catnap doll. Now, with controversy growing, Playtime Co. has announced the recall of all catnap toys from the Smiling Critters line. His image cleared from all promotional material. But damage already done, will disappearing be that easy? The exact cause of these incidents still unknown, only one thing appears glaringly certain. Your children are not safe with catnap. I don't know if um, it was included, but it reminds me of the Russian sleep experiment. Like, oh god. It reminds me of monster feet. Oh. That wasn't so bad. I don't understand how this guy still has these, um... Like, how he still has the grab pack.
It looks like Moby Long Legs, this guy can. This guy can climb. Ooh. I think I was about to drag that. I, I'm going to try and get through this entire game. Um. Obviously, we'll just see how that turns out. Let me, um... Just bring the master volume to 50. Sorry. Just in case, um... Because I know we're at the recording, sometimes my voice is louder. Well, my voice is quieter than the actual video. Way. Um. Yeah, we are going to try and get through this entire game. Um. I know it's a very long chapter. I mean, these chapters, like, I know I said this is the best one so far, but I've got to say the chapters just keep getting better and better. I'm so looking forward to chapter four. Hoping it gets added to, um, consoles. I mean, um... That's a cute little cat nap. Hello. Um. Yeah, I know this. Sorry, I'm once again. I'm getting backtracked. What does that say? The hour of joy. I kind of feel like I'm missing out on a tape. Oh, it's right there in front of me. All right, Miss Harper. Please explain the situation. Spare no detail. Well, like any night, all the children were getting sleep. It was peaceful, quiet. Catnap had the red smoke in the room. Then suddenly, there was this scream. Nightmares happen, I know, but this, I mean, dilated pupils and quivering lips, the way her eyes darted around the room, and I swear, her hand in mine, it felt like her blood was boiling beneath her skin. She saw something, too, something horrible. She, uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to. Miss Harper, we'll provide the very best care we can offer. You have my word. But oh, this is important. Did Marie happen to describe what she saw? Yes! A monster, she said, said that it was colorless. Gosh, I could feel the poor little heart pounding. For her, the prototype? it was right there. And her movements, they were so wild. Arms flailing, legs kicking. Hmm. I, I wanted to talk to her. See how she's doing. I, I just, I really need to hear her voice right now. That would not be advice. Miss Harper, there are many concerns we must address at this time, but vitals show normal, and we'll continue to monitor. She'll be okay. No! Well, pardon me if I'm not comforted by that. <laughs> Just bring my little girl back to me. <laughs> uh, um. You remember me? Elephant always remembers. Want to know what I remember about you? <laughs> All right, but <laughs> I 
Um, I've got a theory as well, like just a random theory that just popped up here. Um, what if? And I don't know if I should mention it if, until we get like further in the chapter. Um, I'll just wait to say it. Hello. Thanks, child. Whoa! Did you do that? I guess that's where Catnap found you. I know you're probably mad at Poppy for not letting you escape, but she needs you. We need you. You are our mission. Together, we can save a lot of people, including you. Lake here is straight ahead. It's the home of Catnap. Um, yeah, sorry, I don't know how I feel about you, Ollie, um, I don't know what you are. Up the hands. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, God. Okay, we add. Oh, so this opens this. Um, see the world through the eyes of the child on AliExpress. Playtime lemonade. Candy cut snacks. Hey, I'm Chicken Chicken. Wanna go outside and hang out? Not really. It's looking pretty bad outside. I've never been outside before. Will you come with me? Here, follow me. I'll step out first. Let's go, Joy. I honestly, my theories just keep getting deep out with the more I see in this game. Cause like, I know how this. My name is Elliot Ludwig. When you look around at the world today, what one thing do you think it needs more of? I asked around once. Money, I never have enough. Understanding, I can never get any. Faith, the common man has lost it. Each answer was different. And I could perhaps see some little truth in each, but I think each was also missing something. Something simple. You see, not one of them could muster a smile. This is so deep underground, holy shit. A smile is hope. A smile is love. A smile is understanding. And there is nothing more gratifying to my soul than being the reason for a child's smile. To be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams. 
for it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid. One where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile. They deserve to love. And they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. It's a... Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface, dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in view. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile? Sorry again. I just want to get my theory out the way with now. I know I said I was going to keep it, but it doesn't really spoil the story or anything as far as I'm aware, if I remember. I believe that they were they, these, not just the the monsters, like Catnap, um, the prototype, Mommy Longlegs. Um, obviously, the rest, they've got to be SCPs. I mean, they freaking bleed. Um... I believe that the kids were also test subjects. I mean, the way that that woman was talking about, um, kind of reminds me of the duck from Dog Deception, but um, the way the woman was talking about, like, I need to see her, um, I was putting the kids to sleep, catnap, used these, like, daily, like, sleep thing. And the fact that there was a gas mask on makes me think that's what she wore to walk around while the kids are asleep so they could monitor the kids and like see how the kids react to these monsters and whatnot. But that's just a theory. A game theory. Thank you. Who are you? Where does it go? Well, no, who are you? head back out, and you should find a door just to the left of the cable car you took down here. A door... That one? My left or your left? I'm gonna assume this left. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's so much more lore in this game. Sorry again. Don't forget your mask. Employees always wear a gas mask wherever red smoke is present. Watch your step. Always remain of your sur aware of your surroundings. Falls may be lethal. Maybe lethal. Are you seeing the like the drop that Hoggy Hoggy went down? I'm assuming you want me to go left. Um, 
Also, I was replaying chapter two to get the trophies, and I noticed that mommy. Actually, let me get this out of the way first. All right, Darth Vader. Um, yeah, I know us. Do not end that. Do not end that. Oh shit! Okay. Um, yeah, when Mommy Longlegs dies. Sorry, spoilers. If you haven't seen that video of mine. When she dies at the end of the episode, I notice that I think she says, "What have you?" Well, she says, "What have you done? You made me a part of him." Are we doing that? Um, you made me a part of him. Ooh. Okay, for some reason it's not allowing me. Also, um, yeah, you made me a part of him, which makes me believe that. And this was like one of my old theories before Chapter Three even came out. Um, the prototype is gonna use Huggy Wuggy's body. And Mommy Longleg's body, and mold himself into something. Cause from what I when I first seen the hand, I thought it was just like a severed hand. I thought like, um, oh, he's gonna make himself a full new body. But no, he's it's literally just his arm stretched out, but it's like all thin. So I'm wondering if um. You know, that's going to come up in the story or whatnot. Uh, sleep time. Um, like, if the prototype is going to use Mommy Longleg's body, combine it to himself, maybe he'll even find Huggy Wuggy and mold him, mold that body on his, on him too. Um... But that's just my little like my my little theory that I've had since um since the beginning of chapter two. But I could be wrong. I'm just I don't know if any other YouTubers said it. Um, maybe they have. Maybe what I'm saying just sounds like I've just took it off someone else. I promise <laughs> these are all my own theories. I don't. I used to like watching game theories, but then I thought um, I might just like wait until Puppy Playtime's fully finished, figure out my own theory, and then see what other people said. See if I can link it to my own. But yeah, um, what are we doing here? God, I wish this chair would go a lot higher, cause like, oh shit, it can. God damn, I never realized this chair could go so high. My God. Um. How do we do this part then? I've noticed this entire chapter is just like based around, um, you know, figuring out how to do the craziest shit.
Also, I... I never... God, that scatters a little. I'll let, um... Ollie, or whatever his name is, talk. Yeah. Oh no. Time to take the elevator. Yep. Oh no! Someone killed the power. Okay, I sent you another key. It's under the statue. Use it to get into home sweet home. Then once you're inside, find the building's backup generator. Good luck. Thanks, kid. But I wanted to say, another thing that's like reinforced my like my favorite other SCPs is I don't know if it's canon, but if any of you have ever seen Poppy Playtime, no, it's not Poppy Playtime. It's like I don't know what it's called, but it's like an online Poppy Playtime game. Um, Hoppy Hopscotch, right off Hop. Where was my sit? Hobby's the friend who would need to put in. Okay. Um. Thanks, bro. Um, yeah. I don't know what game it's called. Oh, Project Playtime. That's it. Project. Project Playtime, it kind of reminds me of that. Oh, sorry, I'm saying it reminds me. That's what reinforces my idea that this is SCPs, because in Project Playtime, when you switch between the monsters, like, um, I think it's really like Puggy, Mummy, and, um, Puggy, Mummy, and boxy boo is like at the minute i mean i don't know when boxy boo is going to come out i would love to see that guy that guy a oh, damn terrifying is this the place yes so again um yeah just the fact that they're in cages and especially like there's an animation where you change the huggy and he goes like this against the glass and he, he like shrieks when you change to him, so I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of that. Oh. <laughs> I should be running, shouldn't I? Um. I keep saying M, 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 M. This is like PT shit, this. Yeah, that's what makes me think that the rest CPs as well. Like, that's like a little thought I just had. Um, that kind of reinforces it. Happy and fun. No. Happy and fun way was it done that doesn't make sense you know what i'm gonna do it this morning as of 9 45 a.m local authorities report that the body of a young girl the late elliot ludwig an esteemed toy maker and originator of the playtime company at this time, an identity for the child awaits official confirmation. Found in an upstairs bedroom in a large duffel bag, officers on scene report that the remains appear to have been disturbed. Organs, as well as key bones from the skeletal structure, were reported missing from the body. It is unknown at this time whether this extraction was, in fact, the cause of death. I don't, I don't know how that's gonna... Ask for any comment regarding the discovery. This is what they had to say. Quote, it's sickening. 
Elliot Ludwig was a great man. And those who knew him understood... The club and a half to you, I will miss you. Let alone what others now claim. He had a deep love in his heart for children like this one. Making the actions of whoever planted this body all the more sick. We look forward to clear of his good name, both in the public eye and in the eyes of the law. Stay tuned for more. Which one did I come from? All I was going to say was, I'm going to do left, right, left, right, because, um... I've been listening to another Creepcast video, um, left, right, the left, right game. Okay, I'm going to go left because it sounds more accurate over here. I'm glad I forgot. I f I'm glad I forgot that. Holy shit! Playtime Co, it seems, intends to keep Elliot's name within its brand regardless, but is sure to be a long legal battle will follow. So who cares if he goes out on strange times of night? People just have different hours that they go out. That sounds very close. Let's do the left right game. <sighs> Wanna come out? <laughs> hey buddy. Catnap, isn't it? Also, um, guilt haunts you. I just wanna Oh god my god that looks so I thought they were eyes them two lights. I just wanted to quickly mention it in the video before I forget. Um Cause I know my, my partner was gonna do this video with me, but um we decided like she just play it on her own. Um she wanted to show this in the video, something that she got. At um a town, a little catnap, plush. I mean, I've got like the, I've got the cute version, the smiling critter version. She's got the the real catnap, which um, is really cool. I mean, it's got the spine, um, it's got the tag, and just really cool. Um, yeah, just a quick shout out to that. And now it's looking down here. Um, between us both, she's got the best catnap. Because, I mean, if I've... Guilt haunts you. Can I go through there? Yeah, my catnap's like... Um, it's a smiling critter version, but it's like... The mouth is so wonky, it's it's horrible. Get up. 
Hey, bro, I, I haven't died yet, so you don't tell me what to do. Don't need to be right behind this. Yeah, my my cat nap ain't good. That's like that's a long story short. I'm so I'm panicking. Also, part of me wonders: is this is this the effect from the uh, the, the the gas? Happy and fun. Why was it done? Nice little rhyme. Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the hall in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little heart's content. Join the innovationists, where the bounds of science are continuously pushed. Or join the counselors of Playcare, whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, Worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And, should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you. I remember this. May you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow. Their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic. Watching and waiting patiently. I can't look away. At a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you've left. A world that's theirs. Welcome home. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. That is mint. Honestly, that's that's gonna be one of my like favorite remembered parts. Yeah, I think that's like part of the, yeah, that's part of the gas. Because I mean, why the hell, bad dream, why the hell would they have a tape talking about, you know, you coming back? Like, I don't know, that's, I mean, this ain't no like, they kind of be that smart. Reference to the fact that you're dead? I think so. Let's talk the gas mask. I wonder if these two are ever gonna get like a, a an appearance in the game. Three. Two, one, let loose boy! Wish we had that for Huggy Wuggy. <laughs> well, how did that benefit me? Oh.
I don't like the symbolism of that either. That does feel like the, the kids are experiments too. I mean, if I go through this door... What? Oh, no. Okay, I can't even think. I was wondering if it was like a one-way mirror. Sorry, a two... I think it's a class as a two-way mirror. No, is it? I think it's classed as a, as a two, one way. Because if it's two way, you can see on both sides, but... I don't know if it's like... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. The mirrors that the cops use in... Um, in movies or the police. Whatever. I'm British, so I say police. I know, terrible. Oh, he's British. I mean, even one of my favourite content creators, uh, Papa Meat, or Me Canyon, is disgusted by British people. <laughs> Honestly, don't blame you. A lot of us aren't great. Part of me just wishes there was a lot more to, like, see. Like, hopefully I will... Well, sorry, hopefully my question can be answered about, um... If it's, like, a two-way mirror. Oh, so I, I don't know what it's classed as. I'm just going to say a one-way mirror, because that feels right. Thanks, bud. And I'm immediately going to... I will pick it up just in case I get chased. Yeah, the bars and whatnot feels like it is a prison. In an odd way. I just wish I could, like, once again, see behind the mirror. Now, I can't do that because that'll wake the kids, but the hour of joy. At the same time, I don't care. Bombs away! <laughs> Shouldn't have had a massive toy car in your room anyway, kids. I just want to say there is probably going to be a lot of stuff I will miss in this episode because um, I looked at like how long it takes other people, how long it took other people to beat this game. Three hours long, and I do not want to stick around and look at everything. I mean, I will try. I will honestly try for you guys to show as much as I can. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was that? Um. But we'll see what I can do. Hi there! I'm Piggy Piggy. Let's eat. Grilled cheese? Delicious! Grilled chicken? Down the hatch! Beard elephant? Yum! Blade unicorn? Mmm! So hungry. Hey, what do you say you and I be friends? 
Piggy piggy, piggy, you ain't piggy. You've literally just like ate like two of the other critters. Well, not just ate them, friggin' flayed one of them and then roasted the other. Hi -yaw. I don't know what this is, where I'm meant to use this. Also, there's another tape somewhere. Oh, I'm missing out on lore. Which really sucks. I'm. I really want to see all of the tapes. I just wish most of the tapes were like at the front or something, or like somewhere visible. I know. I know it's like a lore documentary. Like that's like the whole idea of the tapes. So it's like if you miss it, um, it's not the end of the world. But it's the end of the world for me. Also, I do not know what Oh, okay. It's kids once in this area. That Okay. Oh my god, I don't like that. Um, yeah, there was once kids that... Oh, and just the blood as well, that just... And there's even baby, oh my god. Yeah, this is, has to be an experiment. Sorry, Ludwig, I don't believe for one second that you were like, yeah, I like kids, you know? I'm all about kids. I'm, I make toys for them. Why can't I have them make them a place to stay? You would definitely experiment on them, or much worse. I mean, I don't know if you can get any worse than experimentation. Goddamn, Ludwig. So I think, yeah. Which door did that open? This door? Uh, okay, I'm free. Oh. Just the implications. Kind of scare me. So I've obviously got to like sneak up on it, maybe. But if I could turn the flashlight off, I could probably do something about it. Um. Yeah, the just the amount of implications on this game is just so crazy. I mean, I would say this is a lot darker than FNAF. I mean, did a man kill a bunch of children? Yes. But, in my opinion, I would rather be dead than be experimented on. Or I would assume that's, that, that's what I would prefer. Okay, so I was meant to grab the power and open that permanently. But we have an objective now, so that's something. Hmm. 
I know what the somber music is referring to, and I just want to find it so I can show you guys. Help. Get some rest. All employees should adhere to the recommend four to five hours of sleep before work. The sky's the limit. Choose carefully. Take your time and make the choice that feels right for you. Your first toy lasts a lifetime. I don't say I've missed it. I really... that in my opinion it really like helps the law a lot um But yeah, that really sucks that I can't find it. Oh shit, you fucking cunt. A good day keeps the monsters away. Two hugs a day is better in every way. Hugging forever. Hugs are non-stop. I'm gonna hug you until you come. I thought he was going to glitch out like the rest of them. And so again, um, oh shit, start a fire. God damn it, man. Hi, hi, the. I was really hoping I was going to be able to see that scene with you guys, so I could, um, you know, react to it. Like, Ooh, yeah, that 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 does imp uh, imply that they are being watched. Okay, and that should have opened up the big door, right? Yeah. Finally, some more progress. Okay. That, okay, so yeah, I did miss it then. Because that music, um, if I remember correctly... Aim the turret at the power pole. Yeah, that music, I am pretty sure, is the symbolism to, um, 
that scene. Which, it's a very heartwarming scene, I mean... I love that scene so much, it's... No experience, so okay. Yeah, um, sorry that took so long, um, I'll probably edit it out the video how long it took, um, I wanted to say as well, um, I highly suggest, um, any of the games that I play on the channel, like these horror games, you guys give them a go yourselves, because, this is such a gem of a game. I'm sure you all have seen Potty Playtime. Probably before you've even watched me play it. Um, but honestly, there's so much like in-depth for this game. Like I said, me watching uh, Mark Player play this. And then playing it for myself. I have a lot of... Jesus Christ. Come on. Right, before they go into the explanation, because I, I do remember this as well, um, I need to say, um, I don't, like I, sorry, I'm getting off track again. Please, please give these games a go. Like, honestly, if you take it from my advice, one game to play, play this. Out of all the games on the channel, this is like one of the most in-depth game. I mean, I love this game. I love the concept of it. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I love the concept, there's just so much... ...that, um... ...so much to see that I would hate for you guys to miss out on. Like, um, and honestly, I feel like supporting Poppy Playtime's developers. Listen, I'm not your enemy, but I can't just let you leave. What's happening down here is bigger than all of us. I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who tortured you, who tortured us. They didn't act alone. Disciples of the original the prototype. Do the honors. What am I doing? Prototype okay. knows we're coming by now. You try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that 
god awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Okay, um... Yeah, I wanted to say, please, please give this game a go. It's... I'm just trying to think what I was trying to say. Like, I probably already explained myself, and you guys already understand. But I'm just a little, I'm just a little dumb with these things. I don't. Um. I don't. It takes me ages to get my point across, even if it's already across already. Just the parts of um. Being autistic and having ADHD, I guess. Um <laughs> there we go again. M M M I don't know where this is. He said it's on the porch, but with the power from home sweet home. Oh, here. Yeah. You want to hope this is a long ass cable. That has to be the score right there. Um, just so I know I've got my points. Um, if you guys enjoy this like content, please like give it a go. Because, like I say, you's, it's so different watching someone play a game than playing it yourself. Because then, who knows, maybe I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, on this game, like your theories as well. Um, I mean, I love seeing your guys' comments on the videos. I know I've only had like a couple. One guy asked me to play Evil Within, or girl, I'm um, not sure. They asked me to play Evil Within, and.
Not my friend, I'm betting. Um, I'm so tired of fighting. Mr. Light speaking. Please excuse the interruption. Students, remain in your seat until the bell has rung. And no going in the halls without a hall pass. I remember you, and I hated you. Like, you were absolutely terrifying. Uh... But yeah, a guy asked me to play Evil Within, which I will be playing after the 31 Days of Horror. Just so I've got time to focus on this, and then I can play that. Because I don't know what else I'm going to record after these videos. Because um, I'm pretty much like clearing out my entire game catalogue at the minute. For you guys. Don't like Miss Delight. She ain't such a delight. Why don't you step into Delight, Miss Delight? Wait, I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. How are you? Alive. Huh? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Who the fuck's Bob? So we've got, right, we've got two unnamed characters that don't have a face. Oh shit, I didn't say that. We've got Bob. We've got Ollie. And... The prototype. I mean, we've already seen the guy's hand, so I can't really say that's a that's a face. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna shove it in that socket. <laughs> I don't know why I had to say it like that. Uh, but yeah, Evil Within. After this, maybe even do Evil Within Two. If if you're watching, person who commented, um, if you want me to play Evil Within Two, just let me know. I'll I'll probably play it anywhere, but. Honestly, Evil Within was like one of my favorite games. Because, yes, I have played it already in the past. Um, I mean, I'll get more into that when I actually record the video. Oh, I was there the entire time. Oh, it sucks that I'm not going to be able to watch the tapes. It's like, obviously I could look for them, but it's like, that's a lot of, like, looking around, searching for just one tape. The thing is, though, some of the tapes are, like, straightforward. Also, the first note. The pit's in me house for food. I can't think about anything else. Other than how hungry I am, I hardly have the strength not to pick myself off the floor. Bob speaks to me though, she gives me strength. I find that if I stand still, complete still. Everyone thinks I'm dead. Bob says I need to eat, and that other, the other teachers will never see me coming. Anything to stop the howling. Who's Bob? Is Bob alive? Is Bob a worker? Is Bob one of my co workers? Sorry, ex co workers. Or is... Well, I don't think this is possible. In fact, I know it's not possible to run this.
Bro, that was literally right on it. Okay, so I just need to go grab one of the batteries. I might as well just grab both of them. So once the battery's in place, you kind of take it back, of course. Obviously something in here that I'm missing. I bet there's a battery just sat there like right in front of me and I'm just I'll try and say it. Oh shit. I'm waiting for the day that I play a horror game so bad that I literally fall back in my chair. Ooh, I didn't like that. Not a good listener, are you? You're not like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. I look forward to hopefully ending your life, maybe. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Press my button to hear some facts on anatomy. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison, the Earth around the equator is almost 25,000 miles. The smallest bone in your body is the stapes in your ear. Still, damage it, and you risk losing your hearing. It's going to get dark very quick, isn't Want it? Want to learn more about human organs? Pay close attention in class. Hello, students. Find my sisters and I to learn facts across a variety of subjects. Okay, I'm wondering. Here's She's saying... Anatomy. Don't you be creeping up on me. I... Okay, that must be just me. Whoa, what's going on? When she says, find my sisters and I, that's like... Very creepy. So does that mean there's more of her? Okay, you know what's happening here? I am going into the sensitivity and I am popping it up to 100, 200. That's what's happening right here. Actually, let's just try 150. Okay, much better. I know like everyone says it, or maybe they don't, I'm not sure. Oh, great. <laughs> but, um... Shit. I 
But the concept of like a person moving when you don't look. I've always said it's um it's the weeping angels from Doctor Who. Iconic as shit, scared the shit out of me as a kid. And I fucked it up again. <laughs> Why? What how did you get me? Can I just do that again? Oh my god. Oh my god, I just had the fright of my life. Oh shit, I need to get the battery. Okay, so we need to do this again. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we've been angels as a kid, like, scared the absolute, like, got me so bad growing up. Just the concept of them. Okay. Oh! Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> I don't... Oh, I hate this. Okay, so... I hate how she's breathing. Also, can I just say that she is like my most like favorite design in chapter four. Well, actually no, I would say, well, she's a contender with someone else that appears later down the line. Oh my god, where the fuck are you? You know what, I don't care. Um, where is she? The idea of not knowing where she is is absolutely sh making me shit my pants. Okay, so now you don't even care if I look at you. 
Oh, oh, oh. Shit. If you could go that speed, why? Okay. It still plays into the fact that I think that like SCP monsters, because like, why wouldn't they just run at me and kill me? You know, they obviously want to toy with me because they haven't seen people in years. I thought it was going to go to the point where it's like they jump to the moon and they just die. Oh shit, I went accidentally in at the next, back in that level. I will say, I do not remember her dying. That's something like, yeah, I don't remember at all. I don't remember her getting her heads crushed, but I'm glad I didn't. But I kind of go through this, so it's like. Oh, what's this? A gun? Oh, great. I'm willing to bet one of the tapes is like up there or something or like on one of these caves but I mean I can't really look Jesus Christ that scared us Should have died there, bro, but... Oh my... Why does that keep scaring me? Is that all they want? Okay, so we are reached 1 hour 43 minutes. I don't know how much left of this game there is. I mean, there's only that church building, the play care, and then whatever else. There is... Bada boom. He's like forgetting which hand is which. That's definitely not gonna bite me in the ass later. It's a friggin' chase. Oh, it's powering this up, of course. why I should always follow the wires. Oh boy. 
Wait, no. Okay, fine. That's that's what I mean. What's the objective of this? Okay, I feel like you need to do it in reverse order to ever understand these types of things. So, obviously, immediately line that up with that. Line that up with that. Don't put your gas mask on. Okay, so you can't just press triangle to like cycle through the hands. I was wondering why triangle was a thing. Oh yeah, I remember this. But when I say I remember it, I just remember seeing it online. Oh, that's just fucked up the way he's just standing like that. I've seen it like zoomed in, it's got like employees' corpses on it, but I wonder if because he's praising it, like he's Soler from Dark Souls. I wonder if that's going to be like the prototype's body, like that's his like... So the prototype, it's like, it's going to be like a, it's going to be like a mech for it, because the prototype's obviously like it's an exoskeleton. I wonder if this is going to be like its shell or its husk, so like it's taking all the bodies of all of the different monsters that have died, like Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Long Legs. I'm guessing he killed Pogapella, Bunzo, the other Huggies, and like turned into like, this massive like totem that Katnap praises because you know he knows that his master is going to finally turn into this monster that's my theory I, I don't know if anyone else has, has said that I still believe that the prototype is going to take other people's bodies and like merge it into its own Jesus, you little fucking cunt. I do not remember you guys jump scaring. I was like, oh my god, it is so cute. I'm going to have a look at it. I did not think that thing was going to fucking jump scare me. You bastard. That's right, fuck off. Leave my home. Yeah, I remember this part having a lot of them.
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That was once upon a time that I thought you little bastards were so adorable. that scream I have never screamed like that before oh my god <laughs> I just want to say one more like jump scare like that I'm gonna have a f fucking heart attack Okay, why isn't it turning on? Okay, it must be because I need to go to them. Oh, okay. <gasps> ah! No! Fuck off! Oh! Oh, what are these screams that I'm doing? Catnap is coming! Oh no! <laughs> what are these screams? I've never screamed like that in my life, cut to a horror game. Oh my god! I did not realize these little bastards could climb. Bro, light is shining. Fuck off. Why are you still coming towards me? I'm not gonna lie, when I first seen these little guys, like, I remember seeing a video, like, ages ago of these little guys, and I was like, oh my god, they're so cute. Like, they don't attack you, they're just... They're friendly. No, of course they're not friendly, they're friggin' monsters. <sighs> You're wasting time. I am not wasting time, I am shitting my pants. No wonder if right, this if it's a trophy for completing this without dying, how the hell are you meant to do this? Because you gotta deal with uh, missile light. These little fuckers. Which although, yes, I still think they're a little cute.
doesn't even turn the lights on, that just opens what? Guys. We need revenge. I need to. I need to go in the bedroom, take that cat off the shelf, and throw it in the bin. Oh. How am I gonna get out of here? Right, all, all the be it, despite you scaring the shit out of me, Catnap is still my favourite. I mean... Let me know what your guy's favourite is, out of like, all of them. I don't know their names. I mean, I know there's like chickadee chicken, hop, scotch, bunny, um, oink. I forget her name. I don't know how to get out of this. I don't know how to get out of here. The research must stay buried. Nobody may leave. So yeah, it it's definitely like this entire like facility. Honestly, not too bad, Ludwig. Not too bad. I've just thought it. I've just thought of another theory. What if? The whole reason that Okay, I think I know what I need to do. What if Ludwig is um like if these monsters were real so he made toys based off them maybe even encased what they are into the plushies and then he was like all right we need more money for the facility so why don't we set why don't we um why don't we make kids toys That will make us money to fund our projects here at Playtime Co. I 
I don't know. That's just like something I'm thinking now. If the research must stay buried, like I say, maybe he encased these monsters. He encased them. Holy shit, it's a nanny. He encased these monsters in these plush like outfits to appease the kids. Um. God, not another chase. <laughs> Why is that so like you went fuck? I would have loved to have looked behind me there, but I ain't taking the chances. Okay, so if he was the last of the smiling critters, then that means as well, everyone else must have got killed. So many questions I have, like, he's the last of the smiling critters, that's what he does to heretics.
Okay, um, so that, that was a shrine. You said wait until you see the real thing. Does that mean that Catnap made a replica? Also, if these guys were like alive once, then that must mean they're part of the prototype too. Also, I've noticed that Bubba Bubba Finn, his like thing lines up. Candy Crafty Corn lines up. They all line up, but here, that wasn't a, a, a like a, I don't know what it'd be, text. And I've also noticed, well, actually, yeah, that's a statue there. So maybe Catnap was once just like Dog Day, and then he obviously got into an accident. And because of that accident, he turned in, like, the prototype merged him to this massive, like, monster. Your tools won't protect you. So maybe once upon a time, Catnap wasn't evil. I don't know why I said once upon a time. The only tape that I actually managed to find. The following message is for all Playtime Company employees. At 11.01 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, an unknown hostile force was declared present within the Playtime Company facility. Personnel are to begin enacting emergency evacuation protocols immediately. Leave all personal belongings. Do not engage with any hostile individuals. If no exit path is available, seek shelter in a hidden location. Use blankets or pillows to cover your body and remain silent. Do not look through any windows. Do not open doors for any individuals. Do not make eye contact. Open the doors now the arrow of trays arrived. I have so, so many questions. Joy. I think I do remember what the Hour of Joy is, but I'm not gonna go into like my theories about the Hour of Joy either because me knowing what it is, I don't want to give away like as part of my Predation. Watch cat now attack a bunzo doll. Yeah, I don't want to like give away too much by going into my theories without um, without obviously you guys seeing the ending of this game of this chapter. Sorry. So it is very clear that everything in this facility that moves, looks, or anything is alive. I mean, if it's just said predation, watch catnap hunt. <sighs> Clearly there's much more. It's such like a disturbing. I'm not gonna lie. It's it, this game is 
disturbing as shit. Like, all the questions I have, all of like the little like drops, like fish nuggets or fish pellets, like being sprinkled onto us, the the gamers. Like, it's done so well. Like, once one question's answered, so many more questions come out well then again not that like any of the question well nothing really has been answered really come to think about it I was hoping I could maybe swing on that um Okay, well, this is something. Oh, flies. I thought it was something called buzz, buzz. How to play cast a lot. Great. It was not there for me. Are you serious? This is like the first time I've actually, well, I say the first time, like, I mean, I had to look up one of the puzzles earlier, after the kindergarten, oh shit, sorry. I don't know how I'm saying sorry to, but this video did show me this tape. Ugh, that's not creepy. It was, uh, nothing like we were expecting. Uh, Mr. Ludwig's speech was, well, it just confirms for us that you're the orphanage we want to go through. It's a truly magical place. I felt right at home from the second I entered. You open that door the first time and you just know you're never going to leave. It's kind of like finding a home as a child and always thinking of it when you want to feel comforted. <clears throat> I understand you want to give Jeremy that home. Yeah. And we would like to adopt. Amazing. You'll be perfect for... Oh. What? Well, it appears there's been some complications. Complications? <laughs> what kind of complications? I... I don't know. Um, the form says... Testing. Testing. What does that mean? Tell us, what does that mean? Miss Graper, we deserve a better explanation than that. Don't you think? You're in charge of all this! How could you not know? And why are we only finding out about this now? I... I don't. I'm sorry. Damn it, I wish I, I wish I knew where the other tapes were. Oh my god. So that means even she doesn't know that it's a test subject. Hey, I'm Crafty Corn. Can you help me with my painting? Thanks. Now, can you give me some red? More red, please. You're asking for blood, aren't you? Huh? But we can't be out. You're hiding more red from me. I know you are. Give it here! Oh, now that's much better. Oh, it sucks so much that I'm not going to be able to like, show you guys my reaction to all these tapes. Why did that- oh my god, again? This thing feels very, very shaky. Or maybe that's just my character like, wobbling.
I'm sure I'm not the only one that's like had a jump scare from the mask. What? Was I meant to put my mask on? I mean, I remember that place having red mist in it, but I don't remember how to wear a mask. Oh my god, you put me all the way back here. I wish I wish I was able to like watch all of these tapes with you guys. Because there is like, oh, there's just so much lore I'm missing out on. I know I said earlier, it doesn't really matter if you, if you miss out on the lore, because you'll be able to like, you know, figure some of it out, but... It's these types of games that don't explain much that you need the lore. Kind of like FNAF. I don't know how the hell like people figured out the FNAF lore when like, literally all it was was just the games. I don't think there was any notes in the old games. I mean, there was the mini games, which was like, I suppose, what was meant to be the, uh, the lore. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. That was like 100% so much I've missed. One of these has to have a working power source. Yeah, um, God, I just, it sucks that. It sucks I'm never going to be able to see the law with you all. I guess in a way, I'm glad at the same time because then that gives you guys the chance to say it for yourself. Um, and I only spent 25 minutes doing that section. Perfect. Dead by the original command. Whatever you say, whoever wrote that. Oh shit, thank god I put it on. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't get a chance to be honest. I didn't expect that. Holy shit. Yo, what?
Okay, I was not expecting that. I just want to say that right now. Do you have any idea? I mean, who would have expected it? Also, um, I need to say, I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> um, that jump scare got me. That jump scare sent all of my thoughts, one side of my head, out the other. Okay, so there was kids here that... Well, that was confirmed by the tea. They're test subjects? Like, I, like I've been saying, Poppy. Do you, know who we once were? you s Well, I'm assuming Poppy and Kissy Missy were once kids. That's what I'm guessing. Maybe Poppy was Ludwig's daughter and Kissy Missy was an orphan. That got along, but then something happened to them. You know, some William Afton shit. Know what's real? Also, it's kind of watching me in all of these. I don't. Why did that remind me of um, the intro of Halo 3? Hello, prototype. You are massive. But I feel like that's out of proportion. Yeah, I don't know why that reminded me of the Halo 3 intro. Intro, sorry. Where it was like... So, Catnap actually speaks. The prototype has saved us all. Run. Well, to be honest, bro, you already kind of came for us, so... I have no reason to leave. I mean, Poppy even told me, if I try to leave, that's it. I'm done. That's like me then dead. I don't know who actually, I don't know who said it. But someone was like, if you try and leave Playcare, the prototype will stop you. Just one. I'm just hoping that Chapter Four is on console when it comes out. Cause I, I promise I'll record it as soon as it comes out. If it does. Hello, Smolly. Something's gone wrong. Grab the cord from the counselor's office and plug it in underneath the statue. We need to reach a hundred percent. Good luck. Please stay on your beds following lights out protocol. Yeah, I wonder what would happen if he didn't stay out, stay in your bed during light out. I don't think Catnap would kill the kids, would he? Oh, you son of a bitch. You went all the way back up there, haven't you? Something tells me I don't trust Ollie. Uh, 
I am tempted to say that. Well, dare I say? I believe. Um, okay, if I got attacked at the schoolhouse or the orphanage, this would be where Poppy took me. Yeah. Dare I say that? Ollie is the prototype. I mean, I know that's like also like, why would um, why would the prototype be helping me? You know, if I'm going against these plans. Yeah, um, I know, I know, like, I know, like, my theory has some, like, potholes in it by, like, saying, oh, why would Ollie be helping you? But to combat that, I would say the reason Ollie is helping me is because the prototype wants out of this place. It doesn't know how to get out. Maybe, well, maybe then again it does, but what's it going to do when it gets out? It's just going to get shot down or, like... Absolutely shredded by the military. Maybe I don't know. That's I just I've got a feeling that it wants um, it wants um, us, the player, or the main protagonist to to help it get out of this place or like access more of the factory. Mm. You look so, so cool. Um... Ooh. I remember that. I remember that transformation. And I was like, what? Is that his, like... Wait, 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 wait. So, if we go back a bit... To when I said I don't know what episode it was, maybe it was episode two or three. Um Is Is that catnap's true form under the fur? Cause I'm still going with the thought that like all of these monsters they just try to like make them look kid friendly so they could experiment on them further or like get them closer to kids. Okay, that should be enough power. Now take that huge battery to the gas production zone so we can get out of here. It's I don't know it just comes in a tiny little right battery that's good. Good luck. Yeah, I don't know. It looks to me like that's what a catnap would look like under the fur, and maybe the reason like his jaws dropped is because like his jaw can like shrink up here, but when the fur like lets loose, it's just a hanging. Well, it looks like saggy skin, so yeah, I don't know. I guess we have to wait until chapter four. I I think this game honestly is going to go up to chapter five. Five good chapters, that's what I'm reckoning. Also, where do you even want me to run? Like, I guess I can run through there. Where you want me to run? Where? Now take that huge battery to the gas production zone so we can get out of here. It's the door by the cable car you arrived on. Good luck. 
And that's another thing, so we can get out of here. Like, who's we, first off? Um... Obviously, Ollie, because you see Poppy, but then... Why do we want to get out of here? I thought the whole idea... Well, then again, I guess, like, getting out of here, we're getting out of the play care, so we can get away from Catnap to get to the prototype. But, I don't know. Also, I know what to do at this part now. I looked and I looked, I watched a video, and apparently you've got to go up the elevator. That was at the start of the game. Or the start of the video that I tried to interact with. Which is that elevator there. At the same time, I'm wondering... Is... Ooh. Is this form like meant to be my nightmare? Because obviously the the red mist he produces obviously makes you see shit like hallucinations. Like he's kind of like Scarecrow from DC. So I wonder if like that's what I fear him as. But I'm still going with the fact that new objective survive. Oh fuck off. Right, um, I remember this. I, I've seen this. I do remember. I don't remember how this fight goes, but I do remember it being absolutely terrifying, and I'm not ready for this. This could probably take me like half an hour, but I'm still going with the idea that maybe not just they're not they're not just made into like into like fur suits, so they're not like just wearing a fur suit. They're actually like molded into plastic, like the guy said in the tape: flesh, plastic, and. Something else. What? This is... Hmm, this is too much to juggle, Poppy. I do not like this. In fact, I don't want to do this. Like... Oh... I mean, I do, like I said, I do remember this part. I know what's coming. Um, I do remember it seems like a lot to juggle. This will probably kill us. Or not, it's just, it's a protective barrier. Okay, that one's real, that one's real. What do we do? Poppy, I don't know what to do.
I don't know what to do, puppy. I don't understand this. Oh, uh, I might honestly to just cut out most of this. I might just be quiet and just focus. I'm not gonna talk, um, because I don't want to confuse myself. I think that one's real no matter what. Um, let's just focus on the task at hand. Jesus Christ. Okay, admittedly that was probably the worst battery I could have took out. Luckily, I switched it back. Eight seconds, come on. Okay, thank God this time we got him. So is my theory right that it's just a, it's just a fursuit? Oh. 
I understand um, why he did that. I do. Sorry again. Um, I do understand why he why he did that. Um, obviously, catnap failed him. He couldn't. He couldn't beat us. So the prototype was like, "All right, then I'll just, you know, if there is any other entities, I don't know." But obviously, Katnaf failed the prototype, so the prototype was just like, fine, I'll kill you. Um, I believe that he's going to take his body, because he's got a full body now. It's not like Mommy Longlegs, where Mommy Longlegs was like crushed in the grinder, and um, who else Who else wasn't crushed? Um, Huggy Wuggy, he just fell to his death. Um, before Ollie speaks, just in case he, in case he like makes my head, like, Forget what I was gonna say. I think like Huggy Wuggy, Mommy Long Legs, and Catnap. It's gonna be like a Frankenstein monster of them. Maybe even Mister Light if he can salvage some of her body. Um, I maybe possibly he'll salvage the totem as well that Catnap made for him. What do we do? Oh. Ooh. I really, really hope that chapter five, sorry, chapter four is on console. I know I keep saying it, but God, I just want, I just want to go in blind. So I'm not like, you know, in the hatch room. Um, I just really, really want to go in blind, so, like, and I don't even want to know what the monster is, either, because, like, the thing is, if they take, like, it's coming out next January, yeah, that must be a hatch room, it's coming out next January, so, and if they don't bring it out on release, I'm willing to expect they're going to bring it out in October, like, they brought these two out during, like, September, yeah, October. Like I think these came out September the twenty second, both of them, like chapter two and chapter three. But I'm hoping that they bring out chapter four sooner on console because like now they're gonna have people buying it on console, buying it on Steam, all that. Just because like I'm willing to bet um, people are gonna be posting about all the monsters. Like the one thing that right, let me just get this out of the way. Of see, oh walking. The one thing that annoys me Right, before she, like, explains the plot twist, which I know about, um... Actually, no, I'm gonna leave it at that. I wanna know what happened. And why. This. This is your answer. And I believe that this tape also, like, proves that my, my thing about the SCPs is correct.
They look like the Huggy Wuggies, the baby ones. Jeez, that is a lot of Mr. Lights, holy shit. I'm willing to bet that's Kissy Missy, but Kissy Missy didn't do anything. There's Boxy. I know him from uh, Project Playtime. God, can't have killed so many people. <sighs> it's so haunting seeing this, like, in the game. Not, like, watching someone play it. it was all over they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found and they ate the bodies to stay alive the prototype has to die for this for everything so they ate the bodies I completely forgot that they ate them like so I'm just imagining like a massive pit of people and them just like munching down. I'm assuming where we're where we're going for chapter. Right, before I end the chapter. Um I'm willing to bet that where we're going is where all of the bodies are. Also there is a st I, I thought I've seen the chapter four. Um, I've seen the chapter four. Cheese the trailer. I don't know. If, I've, I'm hoping you guys have seen it. Um, I think the critters that are like surrounding the pit are meant to represent all of the people, but like we're not showing that yet. Uh, so where'd she come from then? Just a black base. God, it's. I don't think the employees knew. That is... I don't think that's intentional, but that just shows how, like, stiff they can go. I don't think the employees knew about these monsters. I feel like Ludwig knew about them. A select handful knew about them. Either that or there were mimics that, like, potentially... Went into the factory one day and like stole these bodies and inhabited them. But God, there's so much I want to talk about, but I don't want to make the episode like too long for this outro because I don't want to waste your guys' time. Um, let's go. All right. Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something. That ending was intense. Replaying counter. Oh, so you can go back and do what you need to do. That's nice of them. Um, oh, let's just honestly, I could go on for hours about this game, about all my theories and talking about it because I. I've become so invested in this game, like, I've, I've got a love for it. Um, I will admit, back when Chapter 3 was announced, and that gas mask was, like, the the pivotal, like, point of it, like, the, 
the actual icon of the trailer. I thought we were going to get chased by like, some gas mask uh, monster. But I would take Catnap over whatever the gas mask monster would have been, in my mind. Um, during the, the part where I'm underground somewhere, I thought this would only take another extra half an hour. I didn't expect it to take an hour. Maybe it's going to be cut up a little bit more, less than that. But I know, at the very minimum, this video will probably be like two and a half hours long. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, hit that notification bell. Because the next video we'll be doing is the Garden of Ban Ban franchise. Or what's available on the console. Um, hope to see you guys for that episode. But till then... I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.